Dr. Brzezinski, about a month ago you came on this program and you talked about the danger of runaway populism. Some uh, mock you. Um, over the past two weeks, we've seen your predictions unfold uh, from Capitol Hill to Wall Street to Main Street. Um, talk about the dangers ahead. Well, Joe, you people have been discussing this now for weeks because I watch you and I think you've been striking the right note. There is a growing anger in the country. There's a growing sense of resentment. There's a feeling of a fundamental unfairness in our country. Unfairness. Just look at the figures. Within the last few days, we saw again a list of people who in some cases, but not few cases, in some cases, have made more than a billion dollars in one year. Most Americans don't even sort of visualize what a billion dollars is. A billion dollars is a thousand million. Can you imagine making more than a thousand million in a year? And how are most of these funds made? And there are many others who didn't make billions, but who made hundreds of millions. How did they make them? They didn't make them by creating new jobs, building new factories, making new technological innovations, which then cumulatively enriched America. They made it by complex financial transactions, which few people understand, which in effect just sort of swooshed off money into private pockets to the more, the more transactions were made. The transactions themselves were the source of the profit. It's almost like a huge national Ponzi scheme. Mm. Now, what gets me really is that in this situation of anger and resentment and the growing risk of class hatred, no one from the private sector has stepped forward and said, let's organize a national solidarity fund in which the people who made so much money, so excessive amounts of money, money which is difficult to understand and to even justify, contribute to help, so to speak, pull us together. The taxpayers are contributing. The president has led us and urged us to do that, and we're doing it. You're doing it, I'm doing it. A lot of much poorer people than us are doing it. Who are the rich people who have made hundreds of millions, thousands of millions in some cases, why don't they step forward? We have the names of some who are returning the bonuses. What about the others who are not? And there should be social pressure. And if some major figures from the public sector yeah. with great reputations who have made a lot of money but who are generous in philanthropy stood forward. I named some the last time we talked. Yeah. Maybe there would be a movement to do something about social rehabilitation, social reconciliation, social solidarity. I think this is very much needed. And Jim Cramer, especially when you have, we were talking earlier, about 5% of Americans control maybe 80, 85% of this country's wealth. What do Absolutely. you think of that? Well, uh, let me ask Dr. Brzezinski yeah. along these lines. Do you think it's misplaced that we focused on some people, including many people that don't really make a lot of money, at AIG, who got bonuses? Instead, perhaps we should focus on this 5% that really, frankly, are free riders on the American system. Well, I basically tend to agree with that. You know, if we look at the figures, I don't have all of the figures, but I've been collecting some. The huge bonuses over the last decade or so skimmed off about $300 billion into private pockets. Now, what can these people do with that money? I mean, how many yachts can you own? How many homes can you own? How many planes can you own? I think you're quite right. It's that level of income which could, I think, collectively make a contribution to class solidarity rather than be the cause of class hatred, and social hatred, class warfare eventually. I think there are wonderful people in America who have made a lot of money, who are active in philanthropy, who could now organize a movement of national solidarity, uh, national uh, response, responsibility in this setting. Otherwise, we're going to be more divided. And look what's happening between us and the Europeans. What is happening to us domestically is increasingly being replicated internationally. Uh, a leader of Europe just the other day said that America's way is the way to hell or something to that effect. There's kind of resentment against America worldwide.
Why don't we set an example of social solidarity rather than social greed? But Dr. Brzezinski, mm. one thing that I, I, mean, I was a hedge fund manager through good luck. I made money, not in the order of what we read yesterday, but a lot of money. The one thing I would say is, is that anybody can do it. This is not a, we have class warfare perhaps brewing, but the truth is that all these hedge fund managers who made the money, that a lot of them were, grew up regular, normal people in America and managed to just win big. We don't want to discourage people from winning big who are from normal origins who are not uh, silver spoon people. Well, that's fair, but you know, there's also, I think, a limit to what win big really means in a society in which there's still a lot of people who are very poor, who are not winning big but losing much. Uh, do you really need billions of dollars to be happy? What can you do with them? Uh, at some point, it seems to me, a social responsibility comes into play. I don't think we should concentrate only on those who somehow or other cheated uh, or caused losses. I think some of the winnings were so disproportionate, so massive, that they do cause a sense of social injustice in our society. And I don't think the people involved, if you made $500 million and you gave away 250 I think you'll be still left with enough to enjoy. The point is there has to be some demonstrable response to this sense of crisis today from the rich people rather than have them hide or hire security guards or insist that they stay anonymous. Oh, Lord. Would you agree, Dr. Brzezinski, with, with the theory as it's lived in real life? Uh, for example, I come from a, a very poor mill town in central Massachusetts, raised there. And the big winners that we're talking about here economically over the last 10 years have more or less raped that town and other towns like it, made millions for themselves, and yet the factories that they bought and sold that enriched them are now closed. They didn't build any new factories. They didn't create any new jobs. And they left behind the skeletal remains uh, of a city that was once vibrant and they've moved on to their big billion dollar salaries and this I think is part of the Bunsen burner, the fuel that is uh, igniting this uh, incipient class warfare in America. Would you agree with that? I totally agree with you and my sense is that the right answer to that is not social confiscation. It's not taking away their money by the state. Uh, the answer is not also just anger by the masses and then demonstrations and an effort to embarrass them or make them vulnerable. The response should come from some of them because there are people among them who have a sense of social consciousness. But what worries me is that too many of them are stashing the money away, a lot of them evading American taxes incidentally by putting them offshore. They have these magnificent estates in the Caribbean and in the Pacific and on the Riviera and boats and yachts and they're indifferent and they're screaming that they are simply benefiting from free enterprise. I think that is a lack of social responsibility and this is something where they could be contributing. I'd like to see some major figures, public figures, step forward on their own, not mobilized by the president or by you or by me, but out of sense of social obligation. They still will not suffer. If you have $500 million or even $50 million in your pocket, you can still give up half of it and be more than comfortable for the rest of your life. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Dr. Brzezinski. <laughs> Try as growing always, up in this household, uh, Kramer. <laughs> we thank you so much for being with us. Greatly appreciate it. You've made me your mother. Jim Kramer nervous, and that's probably a very good sign. Dad, thank well, you. I, 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 I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> good to be in the bracket, let me tell you. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. You Brzezinski. thought the Daily Show was hard. Um, okay. Seriously, it, it is the line out of Wall Street. Uh, the movie, how many yachts can well, you ski behind at the You know, in, a, in America, we don't uh, think about actually, I'm sorry, but there is a certain way of thinking, greed, put it on credit. We just don't think, of, I'm sorry, we don't think this way. Well, you know, we, uh, like Jeffrey Sachs told us a year ago that in 2007, Wall Street got more bonuses uh, in total than we gave to Africa in foreign aid. Give me your money, Kramer. <laughs> yeah, Kramer, yeah. really. You cough it up. I'm, All right. You know, you'll be fine. Maximum 90%. Uh, check his, no, check his I pockets. Don't think so. I don't think so. Come back. We have a senator.